Our final speaker is Manaj Vasudevan, the teak tree. The teak tree, Manaj Vasudevan. Have you ever noticed that our life is like delivering a speech? In our life and in our speech, our time ends sooner than we expect. <laughs> Green, yellow, red. I'm not selling life insurance. I am reminding you to plant your teak trees before it is too late. Contest chair, honorable judges, my dear friends, when I was 18, I lived in a small village in India. There, one rainy day, I saw my father planting a teak tree. The teak tree is a tall, tropical tree known for its hard, durable, and expensive timber. My father was drenched in the rain. Raindrops were sliding down his bald head. That's our family hairstyle. I laughed too, because the teak tree takes 50 years to grow. And my father was already 60 years old. Was my father bad in math? Daddy, that tree is of no use to you. Why are you wasting your time in the rain? He stood up and said, the big trees you see here today were not planted by you or by me. They were planted by people who died long ago. My son, our job is not to worry about our result or reward. Our job is to do the best we can, to do something that will someday benefit someone. His words convinced me that he was crazy. Three months later, my father passed away. At my father's funeral, friends and family shared several stories of how my father had touched lives with his humanity, charity, and generosity. I became very proud of my father. But will I make him Proud. The teak tree my father left behind became a constant reminder for me to do something that will someday benefit someone. I wondered what teak trees will I leave behind? I searched for some inspiration. Mahatma Gandhi has passed on, but his influence lives on. Gandhi left behind a teak tree. Gandhi's ideals of truth, tolerance, and total peace continues to inspire our world. Countless other men and women have left behind their teak trees. Great, but I was not a Gandhi, even though I had the same hairstyle. <laughs> I still wondered, what teak trees will I leave behind. I searched for an answer for the next 20 years. By then, I was living in Singapore. I was a husband, a father, and a toastmaster, as instructed by my wife. <laughs> she wanted me to have better listening skills, <laughs> especially when she is talking. Then one day at my son's school, a teacher asked me, Oh, are you a toast master? Competent communicator. Can you tell a story to these little children? No. I have not done that project. 
she insisted. So I narrated a story about the struggles of an orphan child. My voice was so soothing. Some children fell asleep. <laughs> As I hurried to leave, I felt a little hand pulling my sleeve. As I looked, I saw Helen, a bouncy little girl with bright, beautiful eyes. Helen said, I like your story. When I grow up, I will make a rule that every family should adopt an orphan. Her words melted my heart, but I was not really ready for what happened next. Few months later, Helen's family adopted a child. My heart melted even more. I realized that the story I told Helen was a teak tree I planted. It benefited the adopted child and Helen's family. I realized that we need not be a Gandhi to make a difference. We can be a tiny drop in a mighty ocean and still make a contribution that counts. I volunteer in schools and youth leadership groups to inspire others the way others have inspired I am looking forward to plant many more teak trees. How would you feel if you and I could touch more lives? You can find a fertile ground for your teak trees. It could be in your home, in your country, in your community, or in our world. Friends, find a fertile ground and plant your teak trees. Do it yourself. Don't outsource it. Perhaps like Gandhi, you and I will touch more lives. We wouldn't know. Our job is not to worry about our result or reward. Our job is to do the best we can to do something that will someday benefit someone. That was the wisdom I learned from my father. My father left me a long time ago, but the tea tree he left behind continues to grow. My dear friends, before the red light of your life appears, please think about your life and ask yourselves, what tea trees are you leaving behind? Contest champ.